Hello, my friends. It's Poet WP here. Uh, today I'm going to be reading the next installment of the Dhammapada, where I left off. And um, this chapter is probably, well, I don't know, like I say, it's hard for me to pick favorites. But this is certainly one of the <clears throat> chapters I've read the most. I've, I've, I study this text a lot. It helps me in my life a great deal. Um, but this chapter I've found to be very, very helpful. Especially when the craziness of the world and the everything... <clears throat> just seems overwhelming. And in these days, God help us, it's getting fucking crazy. <laughs> so anyway, let me start it. Chapter is the cool Alex Gray pick I use for bookmarks. Everybody go check out Alex Gray's art. It's awesome. This is where it used to be. Well, he doesn't, that's not the place anymore where his this is an old card from back in the day. He's upstate New York now. But anyway, you just go up, look at alexgray.com. It's really awesome. Amazing art. He does all the tool art. He's a really cool guy. Really knowledgeable. Anyway, on to mischief. Be quick to do good. If you are slow, the mind delighting in mischief will catch you. Turn away from mischief. Again and again, turn away. Before sorrow befalls you. Set your heart on doing good. Do it over and over again. And you will be filled with joy. A fool is happy. Until his mischief turns against him. And a good man may suffer. Until his goodness flowers. Please Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Let, the, let that goodness flower. <laughs> Focus, you can do it. There you go. Do not make light of your failings, saying, What are they to me? A jug fills drop by drop, so the fool becomes brim full of folly. Do not belittle your virtues, saying, They are nothing. A jug fills drop by drop, so the wise man becomes brim full of virtue. As the rich merchant with few servants shuns a dangerous road and the man who loves life shuns poison, beware the dangers of folly and mischief, for an unwinnowed hand may handle poison. The innocent come to no harm. But as dust thrown against the wind, <clears throat> mischief, is blown back in the face of the fool who wrongs the pure and harmless. Some are reborn in hell, some in this world, the good in heaven, but the pure are not reborn. Nowhere, not in the sky, nor in the midst of the sea, nor in the depth, nor in the deep, nor deep in the mountains. Can you hide from your own mischief? Not in the sky, nor in the midst of the ocean, nor in the mountains. Nowhere can you hide from your own death. And that's the end of that chapter. It's very powerful. You know, in this PC era... PC culture, everything has to be general, general, nice, safe space. And everybody's all into like, oh, the spiritual awareness, self-love leads to, you know, you love yourself first to love everybody else. And that's very true. But that's also a slippery slope that you have to be careful of because the Western world has not properly transcended its cultural ego. And it's the, the mores and the standards 
of uh, norms in American culture and in Western culture. See, all that self-love can lead you to feeding your ego and making your head blow up like a balloon. Making you want to place over other people. Making you um, feel separated from them. And then, you know, it's a vicious cycle. You know, and Buddhism, there's a lot of psychology in it. One of my main interests in psychology is discovering the spiritual part of the mind. How that network works. I think in the future there will be a great new emergence of spiritual, psychological science. A new area, a new school of thought that will add to the evolution of the collective. Spiritually and psychologically, making it more stable and... um, Harmonious. Heaven on earth, you know? It's all about compassion. And seeing yourself in others. See yourself in others, then whom can you harm? As the saying goes, you know? Sometimes the prospect of really looking within yourself to discover what truly holds you, binds you, it's a very terrifying prospect. But, just like <laughs> the old cliche, death and taxes, you get around to it eventually, one of these lifetimes. The sooner the better. Face your fear. Find your ego. Unravel its cords of deception. Awaken the true heart center. It doesn't have anything to do with intellect. (laughs) Anyway, okay. I'll get off my soapbox now. There's a little ramble there at the end for you. Okay. Take her easy, gang. Catch you next time.